good morning students today i will start with your second chapter that is called physical quantity and measurement student before we start with the chapter you should be aware what is measurement actually measurement means the action of measuring something what i mean to say the action of measuring something means if you go to a grocery shop and ask him to give you 2 kg of rice if he has a beam balance or physical balance or any kind of balance what he does on one side of the pan he keeps a standard weight that is called 2 kilos and other side he puts rice what you have asked for this is known as action of measuring something actually he is measuring rice with 2 kg of standard weight under various device we will deal with the measurement of length what is length length is defined as the separation or the distance between any two fixed point in space here you can see it is written that length is a fundamental physical quantity what it means fundamental physical quantities it means that it is independent of any other thing what i mean to say that speed directly depends on distance or time here length is independent of any other object or substance it does not depend so it is called as a fundamental physical quantity among the various measuring device you can see up on the screen this is a flexible measuring tape that is normally used by tailors to take measurement for measuring straight object we don't need a flexible measuring tape we need only a plain or a simple ruler that you can see on the screen it has got a two sets of unit on top you see it is smaller divisions are of millimeter then it is centimeter bottom part you see it is in inches this is the most common measuring device that we come across in our day to day life students you see there is one more measuring device this is called screw gauge it is normally used to measure the diameter of a very thin wire or where accuracy is very important we use this normally it is used to measure the diameter of wire now you can see up on the screen there is one more device that is called vernier calipers it is also used to measure the length of a straight object or depth of any round circular body what i mean to say the height of a bottle or the inside and the outside diameter of any round object where scale will not give you a proper answer but this is going to give you a very correct answer student you see that i have taken a very close picture of a measuring scale that you use in your day to day life there are you see smaller divisions are there which are of millimeter 
and where it is written 1 you can count 10 divisions of millimeter makes equal to 1 centimeter students in our day to day life we use scale for measurement but still many of us do make mistake and in using a scale the first point is proper placement of scale what i mean to say will be clear from this picture you see a where scale has been kept straight but in b you see the scale is not kept straight this is what i mean to say that proper placement of scale student next precaution that we need to take care is when the zero mark of the scale is damaged what i mean to say you can see on the figure here left to one you can see that scale has been damaged in such a case don't start from zero but start from 1 start from 1 in case your observation comes 5.5 .5 and you have started from 1 but not from 0 in that case length of the scale will be 5.5 .5 minus 1 4.5 next you see proper position of eye while the while reading the scale here you can see two images are there one of a girl one of a boy their eyes are one toward the left one toward the right of the measurement hence none of them are getting a uh, exact but here you see in between left and right one more child is there whose eyes is exactly over the object to be taken measurement this child will get the very exact reading when the marking on the scale are not uniform don't have to worry about this point because nowadays whatever scales you are getting those are very exact and correct but my duty is to make you understand even this point if you feel in any way that the marking on the scale is not uniform if you feel that may not be the case i'm telling you once again then you take measurement of the object you want to measure at least five to six times add up all the observation that you have got and divide by the number of times you have taken that is called average and you will get the correct answer don't worry nowadays scales what you get are all very uniform 